Yo, 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 what's up everybody, fan of here. Today we're going to react to the greatest PVMers of all time. Sebe released this video, guys, and it pops up in my recommended, and I'm, hey, yeah, I'll buy it. I, I think it's, uh, you know, some interesting content. It puts out some, you know, cool podcasts and stuff. I haven't really seen, like, you know, um, like a top five or anything, like a video essay kind of style. From him, so let's let's give it a shot, guys. Let's see what it's all about. Without further ado, top five greatest PVMers by Sebe. Let's check it out. Who would you consider to be the top five greatest old school RuneScape PVM? Now, honestly, guys, I don't know. Wooks. That's that's just about it. Wooks. That's all I know. Gamers of all time. What even qualifies a player to be? Bro, this is Sebe. Did he hire a voice actor or something? I have no clue. Considered for such a prestigious position. Thanks to the help of the community on Twitter and further discussion with the PVM clan Oblivion, I've come up with a list of my choice for the top five greatest PVMers of all time and the reasons why they trump the rest. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm interested to, s to see his uh, top five, guys. Like, comment below what you think your top five are as well, guys. Um, just as a disclaimer here is that, you know, I'm not the best at the PVM community. I don't really watch PVM streamers that much, but yeah. Now, before I just want to see, you know, maybe, maybe you'll list like some of the accomplishments they have, or, you know, why they're not going to want PVMers and stuff. That, that's what I'm interested in. Before I reveal and then, you know, we got the world record holders as well. Like this guy who seems to be speed running the inferno. My first pick, I'm gonna briefly break down what metrics I look for when deciding if a player meets the qualifications. This list is not meant as the current best active PVMers, but a list of those players who, when seeing the OSR's timeline as a Whoa. whole, prove time and time, Whoa. time again that they are something special. No way, that's so I synchronized. Is that them, them actually playing, guys? What? That's so cool. Guys, I need to make like a top five P PVPers or something. For mechanical ability for their time period, meta discovery in old and new pieces of content, notable achievements, and the inspiration they generated inside the community. Are you doing like a level three kind of um, fire cape here? Although speedrunning and mechanical precision and mastery play important roles in PVM ability, I had to go with a more well-rounded selection. I've decided to save certain players that clearly show more talent in specific areas for future top five videos, including snap, no, snap. No. It's just like a generalization or something. Including greatest speedrunners, greatest mechanical players, and greatest meta creators. This was a tough choice, but in the end, I'm satisfied with my picks. Drop a like if you enjoy the video. Now let's get into it. Let's check it out, guys. Number five, Kelvin. Let's just get into it, like Philip DeFranco would say. Calvino. Calvino has been inactive in the OSRS scene for over four years, but was an absolute wizard of PVM in his prime. He was... It's not bro, he just straight up quit the game for four years? And he still remembers him, guys? Dang, bro. You know, you see that uh, happen often with the uh, streamers, though. He's arguably the inspiration behind Inferno speed running taking off, and showed the community that with enough practice, anything can be made easy. Calvino held the world record for fastest Inferno time for years. When players eventually beat his records, he'd come back and quickly send them back to second place. Damn, bro. You think he's gonna be the current world record holder? I don't think so, because, you know, a lot of gear came out in the past four years so that probably just will get the best time. Exactly five years ago, he set the world record at 53 minutes and 53 uh, maybe, maybe. seconds. That is an admirable time for 2023 standards, but back then it was insanity. He was untouchable. Calvino flicking became a coin term after his upload to YouTube showing off his prowess at six jads. Although unsuccessful. Dude. Successful in completing the entire challenge in the particular video, he managed to defeat multiple jads without losing a prayer point and whilst simultaneously activating his defensive and offensive prayers the entire time. This feat was mind-boggling to- Dude, that's so cracked. 
Now imagine the next level would be activating augury on like the magic hits or something. But that'd be like bot level gameplay. It is level of gameplay looks bot uh, like AHK already though. To the community and is still seen as a very difficult mechanic to pull off. He's literally flicking six jods, bro. How is that possible? Especially at a piece of content this intense. Calvino had a deep understanding of the tick system in RuneScape and continually found interesting metas in both PVM and skilling. He remained pretty quiet during his peak years of gaming, but his accomplishments spoke for themselves and he's still seen as one of the all-time great. Oh, I remember this. I remember seeing this, guys. Uh, where he does it, like, that one tick flicking or whatever, man. On the boss. That is awesome, that is awesome. Greats because of what he could do back then. Number four, Unpredictable. Unpredictable is one of the most mechanically gifted players in the history of the game. His brain computes ticks and intense PVM scenarios with ease. He has completed some of the most absurd challenges the community has ever seen, and all because of his passion to push his ability and what's seen as possible to new heights. He's flicking on a pier, guys. To list just several of his most oh, insane or not, maybe. achievements, Unpredictable has completed a melee only inferno on a one defense pure without pillars. This alone is such an astonishing feat when you. Bro, how's it? How's he even do that, man? Think about the sheer pressure every wave entails. He also defeated the triple jad challenge without ever. I know inferno stuff so far. I haven't really seen much. Besides the Inferno. Returning on a prayer. He completed the 6 Jad challenge with only 1 HP, 1 prayer, and 1 defense, as well as almost entirely finishing a 1 item, no supplies Inferno run. Unpredictable is seen as a mechanical genius in every sense of the term by high level PVMers around the game. He's inspired so many of those players to push their own abilities further than they thought possible. Although most of his notable achievements revolve around the Inferno, his mastery of the place shows what he'd be capable of if Dang. he spent a he, he could totally get like rank 1 pure Inferno or something. ...action of the time and other easier pieces of content. Number 3, Exact. Another Inferno guy. Exact is one of the most inspirational players of our generation. Bro, this is like... I just want to know who has the records for like lowest comment inferno and stuff. Along with being one of the kindest people in the community, he also defied the. He actually live streams his inferno attempts, man. Possible on more than one occasion. Exact mysteriously began competing with Rendy to achieve the world's lowest combat fire cape back in late 2019. Their passion and hours of researching and tick eating had them both. I know, dude. When I watch a Rendy video, it's like, bro, what am I even looking at, bro? I don't know what he's talking about, like... <laughs> uh, seriously, guys. Eventually defeating Jad at level 3 combat. Oh, so we do have level 3 in the fire cape. But yeah, Randy goes into the mechanics like super, super, like in a 50 minute video essay like he's a freaking college professor at RuneScape, man. Uh, I don't have a cheat knowledge like that, guys. Exact's greatest achievement was obtaining an Infernal Cape on a level 40 combat account after Bodhi's challenge to the entire game to see anyone go for a 45 combat cape or lower. Bodhi paid the man $10,000 as per the rules in the challenge, but Exact, instead of pocketing the well-deserved cash prize, decided to instead team up with Bodhi in giving away the money to up-and-coming OSRS content creators. Yo, that's so cool. Along I need, I need 10,000. Inside those two undeniable feats, exact all- Oh man, 10,000 would make my year, bro. That'd get me out of the slums. Also was a demon at Solo Tob, and would even do it on a one defense pure. He even almost accomplished it on his unforgettable pure hardcore Iron Man tree climb. Oh, I remember, I remember that RSM, bro. <laughs> Argued by some to be the greatest ever Hardcore Iron Man account that ever lived. Due to numerous circumstances, he fell in the end, but all those who showed up for the stream knew it was ultimately a sacrifice and not a mistake. 
Within such a small window of time, Exact's popularity spread across the community. And although- What happened to this guy? Does he still stream? He isn't actively playing currently. He still achieves some of the most insane feats of all time and is widely respected. Shout out Exact, bro. He, he, I didn't really be chilling in streams or anything, but you know, everybody be talking about like uh, his achievements and stuff. Number two, Port Kazard. Oh, okay. Port Kazard has one of the guys. These these are all fire cape uh, related challenges, guys. Might as well call it like a the greatest mm, <laughs> to to Hazard related challenges. Largest brains in all of RuneScape history. He's the largest. Brain. Oh my gosh, bro! The man endlessly the? solves some of the most difficult obstacles in endgame. Bro, he's dropping scrolls and stuff, bro. Wow, the amount of brain just for a, a cookie clicker like RuneScape, man. He's he's figuring it out like to the max. EVM encounters. He is the definition of a beast gamer. Some notable achievements of his are completing the first and only level three. Con combat fight caves post nerf deemed impossible to ever be completed again by the community at large. <laughs> well, man. He also found a strategy to defeat Zuck without ever actually attacking him and executed it flawlessly. What the heck? Before many TOA changes were made in the early days of its release, and before the Fang Kit was even announced, Port Kazard was the first player to complete a level 500 TOA. With the release of Desert Treasure 2. Nice man. Isn't there a higher rank than a 500 though? He became the first and only player currently to have defeated all four awakened bosses in a row without dying and in just one inventory of supplies. Oh, this guy. I heard about him on Reddit. If those accomplishments weren't enough to blow your mind, Port Kazard also defeated Nex in a solo before certain updates were implemented, and he also completed a fight cave in under. Dang, ne Nex is still solo unsolable currently, guys. They they had to, uh, had some updates because he finished it solo. For Grandmaster time without losing a single prayer point, off task. Port Gazard has proven time and time again Dang. why he is one of the all- Looking is just cracked, guys. Like, really. All-time greats, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of his impossible feats in the years to come. Number one, Wooks. Hey, it's gonna be a while before, like, a, a new uh, PVM boss comes out or something, right, guys? We're, we're dealing with, like, dead man and stuff. You probably guessed it before the video even began, but it's so hard to find enough arguments to not have Wooks as my number one pick for- Oh, guys, we we actually guessed it. Wooks was- Wooks is number one. Let's go, let's go. Wooks for the win. Greatest old school PVMer of all time. Although in recent years, he's not been as active or dedicated to the game, he was still- Still untouchable over the many years of his prime. Wooks was the first player to obtain an Infernal Cape, and first player to solo- we, on, we watched a whole documentary on Wooks. It should be on my channel somewhere. It was a Kim Q's documentary. If you want to go watch that on the- If you want to <clears throat> learn more about that, I did react to his, his documentary about it. Oh, the Theater of Blood, having pioneered the strategies behind each room. Along- Yeah, we like kind of- Kinda of works for them, guys. Inside a plethora of crazy feats in pre-EOC, Wooks also defeated six Jads without prayers, and another time while black screened, making him have what? to rely on sounds only. No way, bro, what the heck? If he can do that, I can do that, right, guys? Wooks also discovered metas years ago, like Corp Solo with only potatoes and the one item Bando Solo. He's been instrumental in the evolution of solo raids and has always been insanely quick with figuring out metas for new releases of high-level content. 
Ultimately, Wooks is no longer seen as one of the current best, but his unforgettable achievements throughout Old School's history remain a pinnacle part of why he's seen by many as the GOAT. He's inspired an in Big Wooks, man. entire generation of PVM. Oh, it's not completely black screen, but... <clears throat> and his legacy... Still very impressive, very good. ...he will live on until the end of RuneScape. I thought it was gonna be, gonna be completely black screen, but how's that possible, right, guys? I'm gonna need those, like, uh, entity hider things on. Entity, uh, I guess, uh, highlighters. A few honorable mentions before the video ends. Adicon, Afzal, Lake, Noob Type, and Scotty. Well, very, very well done video. I think I'll save it in the description. Let me know down in the comments who you would have selected in your top five. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see more top five videos in the future. Yeah, be, be, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Check it out. Man, that was a pretty good one. I'm expecting new type to be here, but it's hard to deny these, these five. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 really well done video. I liked it, guys. I was expecting to see a cold one in the honorable mentions. Yeah, it's real good. Plays more on the iron now, but still. It doesn't really go for insane combat achievements that much no more. He did like some like hardcore uh, theater blood or something, right, guys? All right, guys. See you guys next one. Do all my reactions live on Twitch. If you want to come through, say hi, you're more than welcome, and I'll see you guys later.